Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. So we have a little bit of a problem here. We can't get any grain to come out of the discharge auger on this bin. This is the last bin we have to empty out. All the other ones were perfectly fine. There was no mold, there was no, uh, no grain rot, nothing like that. Grain looked beautiful in them. And then we got to this bin and the grain won't come out. We don't think it's an issue with rotted grain. We're pretty sure it's an issue with the slide gate in the bottom. We think that it broke off of the pipe that pulls it in and out. So I need to get creative and I need to get into that slide gate. And the only way to get into that slide gate is to get this bin partially emptied so we can do some shoveling and get in there. So what I'm gonna do is there is a, about a six inch hole behind that slide door there in the big door here. I'm going to get something plumbed up from there down to our auger trough to uh, get the uh, corn out of there from behind the door. So I got an idea that I think is going to work. So I'm going to go get everything out of the back of my truck and uh, see what happens. So basically I just need to make some plumbing from there to there, down there, and empty it out at least behind the door. And then I have some small augers that I think we can poke in the door and run out directly in there until we can get burrowed in to the uh, center sump and get it opened up. This is kind of the only way to do it. We don't have a grain vac, so this is the way it is. So uh, let's get started and see what we can do. So I'm gonna go unload the materials we need that I think is gonna work. Tidy cats buckets. We'll show you what we're gonna do with them. I have a plan and I think it's gonna work just fine. Gonna get creative. Stupid bits. Just a little shoot. Well, let's see if it works. We've got four buckets screwed together now, and this top one, I made this one swing this way, and the rest go like this. Hey, hey, hey! Look at that! Goes right down in our uh, auger boot and everything. Now I just need to attach it somehow and get this sealed up a little bit. I think we'll have it. Uh. 
Okay, so none of this is permanent, so that's why I'm trying to do everything without drilling holes or putting screws in the bin. So I got a piece of lube on there and some vice grip clamps. I've got that side clamped real good. Now I got to figure out something on this side because I still got to allow that door to slide and I still need to keep the corn in there. So I'm going to have to cut something with my circular saw to make it fit. And I got to figure out a way of sealing things up a little bit so there's no corn dribbling out. I made me another piece of lube on here. I think it's going to work just fine. Look at that. I just got to clamp this somehow. Clamp it there. It can't scoot over. Oh, darn it. Trim this off a little bit so my saw will work with it. or trim this off a little bit so my clamp will work with it. Cordless tools are just wonderful. buckets tight against the bin. This is real interesting, isn't it? We need to seal things up a little. What I'm going to do, I'll try to tie these red rags in the knot here, like so. Poke them through my cracks. Pull it in tight. For those of you who watch the Red Green show, I think uh, I can really relate to Red Green on this one. If she don't find you handy, she'll definitely find you handsome. Or if she don't find you handsome, she'll definitely find you handy. Something like that. Don't mind me, I'm just a dyslexic. No, that one's not quite a big enough knot. Pull it a little too tight, I guess. to do it I think. You put a little tile tape down there in the bottom. Oh yeah. All right we can try it. I better go on tarp the truck first.
unloading a bin like that <clears throat> is it could cause the bin to collapse, but that bin wasn't actually full, so it's not going to be an issue. I can't believe how well the Titan Cast buckets are working. I mean, we've run that much corn through the Tidy Cats buckets already. Tidy Cats, it's not only to make your uh, cat's uh, litter box fresher, it also works for other things. Well, at least the buckets do. I 100% support Tidy Cats, just because I like their square buckets. Well, rectangular buckets, I suppose. I was originally going to make something out of sheet metal, then I got back to the shop and I seen the Tidy Cats buckets sitting around, because I collect them, and I thought, you know what, I got a better idea. Let's make a chute out of Tidy Cats buckets. Really, it didn't take me that long at all to do. 15 minutes, I had it all figured out. For something that's going to be temporary, it worked out perfect. I suppose you can even hang it on the end of your auger. If you need an adjustable chute right there. There's a million uses. I'm gonna go try to get that door open a little bit farther. Well, there we go. Successfully loaded the trailer. Didn't really spill much corn at all. Just a few kernels here and there. I don't know if we're... Yeah. No, not quite to the door yet. I was thinking that it would uh, come down enough that we get that top door open. So we'll have to get another load out of it. That won't be till uh, Monday sometimes because it's Saturday and, and uh, elevators are closed today. So that's it for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and tarp everything and uh, leave it till Monday. So it's a good alternative way to get some corn out of a bin if you can't. If you got some tidy cats buckets, you can potentially use them to help yourself out. Worked real good. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you all in the next one.